So, hello everybody. Driven by Mars 16.3 is out and if you have never heard about Driven by Mars, it's a totally free extension for Bitwig Studio as well as for Cocos Reaper and it supports many, many devices. And the download link is down in the description. 6.3 brings several new extensions for the Mackie MCU protocol, but also check out the changes list. It provides also some additions for other devices. So the Mackie protocol gives you some new stuff here. If you have watched my previous video with some specific extensions, for example, a color display for the bearing X touch, but the changes are for all devices which supports the pretty good old MCU protocol, not only the XTouch. But now I use the XTouch and uh, we have here several modifier keys. So I added some features for modifier keys and especially here markers. For example, if you're running your project, you can also add on the fly a new marker by pressing option key and the marker button. So we have now here a new marker and also a previous one, which was not in view. Maybe close that one down and make it like this. So we see here the new markers. Let's create some more. You can also create them here in Bitwig. Or you don't have to run playback. Also, if it's stopped, you can press here option and marker to insert a new marker. Let's add another one. If you go now here in the marker mode, you see the four markers, which was already the case before. Also here with the bearing X touch, we have the color on the display. So you could also, for example, change that to a red marker. Enter here a name. The sock, the song. I hope you can read it. It's also here now visible in the display. And by pressing here the knob, you can start the playback from that marker. You can also navigate the markers now by using again the option key and here the backwards and forward buttons. And if you do that, it jumps to the next nearby marker from the current position or in the other direction. And this is pretty helpful for navigating quickly in your project. A feature I added to the push device in the previous version is to rearrange tracks and devices. And this is now also available in the Mackie protocol. So let's go here back to the view of the tracks. And now, for example, we have here the second track is the selected one. And you can now use the option key plus the channel buttons to change the position of your currently selected track. So you can move it downwards or you can move it upwards. And the same works for devices. So let's go here to that track and let's quickly add some devices randomly so you can see what's going on. So let's select the blur one. And now with option and the fader bank buttons, you can change the position of devices. And this works nicely in all the modes. Also, I updated something. This was previously working only in the page of the eight devices, but now it also works across the border of eight. If you enter the track mode, there are the sands and before that you could also already access six sands, but this was replicated on all the devices. So if you have several Mackie devices, you could only use up to six. I extended it now a bit. So let's create some additional tracks here, some sand tracks. And if we go back here to our first track uh, and you are in track mode, you see now all the sands we have here. So you get up to 40 sand tracks now which you can now change as expected here and you can also reset them by pressing them so you have much more control over your tracks and what I also changed is you see now they are in this meaningless color and if you go for example let's go we go to track 10 and change here the color to something greenish you will see the track will go green but if we go back here to our track uh, you see now the sand track is now also shown here in green. It's better to see what is your destination sand track. And there's now an additional new option in the settings. If you press here or touch one fader, you will see it, so it changes into the volume mode. This happens all the time and some users did like that. The reason might be that if you change volume and want to fiddle here with some device settings in live action, for example, you might not want that. And if you don't want that, you can now go 
to the settings where is a Mackey controller. So, and if you scroll down here in this long list of features, there is now a new one in workflow. We previously already had the select channel on fader touch, and there is now also the new one activate volume mode on fader touch. And if you turn that off and touch the fader, it will not show you that mode, but nevertheless, it still changes the volume. So that's it for the changes for Mackie Protocol in Driven by Mars 6.3. I hope you like it, dig it and make some funky music.